Look at 36. Which one? 36. Look at 36. 36. 36. Right. But of that day and of the hour, no man knoweth. Not the angels of heaven, but my father only. That's right. You said okay. The now then. Why did Jesus say I didn't know the judgment day? Excellent. The Excellent. Doesn't know the judgment day. Excellent. It's only God that knows. Why yeah. did he say that? Now you can hold it down. Now yeah. I've read it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now let me explain. It's in Mark thirteen thirty-two. Yeah, yeah. Right. Same as yeah? this. Yeah. Now this verse is showing. Yes. It's, it's a couple of things. The, the the least important thing is but interesting is the is the is um is the Jewish wedding ceremonial system. Do you know about that? Do you know first century? All right. Passover. Uh, I guess, no, 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 it's not that. I'll explain. When a, a Jewish girl and a Jewish boy is to get married, yeah. um, they, they, they get married, the first stage of marriage is um, a contract is signed between the Jewish boy and the Jewish girl, usually in the, in the, um, in the house of the father of the, of the, uh, of the, of the um, son who's going to be married. And then the bride goes back to her own home. At a, at a time that is not known to the bride, the son comes to the Jewish girl's house and collects her, usually late at night, and brings her from her father's home to his father's home. And they dwell there in their married life in the place attached to the father's home that has been built for them as man and wife. Jesus, in speaking, particularly Mark 13, 32, of not knowing the day and the hour, is because the son, in Jewish marriage ceremonial, does not know the hour, he is going to be sent by his dad to go and get the bride. No, and no. that is why he says that. Now, now the it's bride the is the bride day. is that Christ Church. About day, not yes. you yeah, that However, not. this is this is the overall context, cultural context of Jesus' statement. Jewish people would hear it that way. Now the, the meat and bones of this issue though is Jesus is nonetheless saying, I don't know the hour. And this is because as we get told by St. Paul in Philippians chapter 2, Jesus empties himself. He says he's in, the, he's in the form of God, but he does not count equality with God a thing to be held onto, but empties himself. In that process of emptying himself, he takes on our limitations, such as ignorance of certain things. That one. verse you gave me is an illustrative. Hold on. That verse you gave me is exactly illustrative of the nature of the incarnation Son of God. Mm -hmm. He is no, not no, no, actually, no, 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 no. he is not like him. Um, he's not like somebody who's oh, walking around I'm with coming. perfect wait, knowledge wait, wait, wait. of everything but I'm in coming. a human body. No, no, no. He has wait, wait. limitations. Wait, wait, wait. You see the explanation you just gave? The yep. explanation you gave? Yep. In the Gospel of Matthew, yep. chapter 20, verse 20 to 23. Okay. The two sons of Sebede, the two sons of Sebede, and their mother came to Jesus. They kneeled down before him. Yep. Jesus said, what do you want? Yeah, it is given the to my father. Say, the mother says, yep. I want you two of my son, you choose as disciples, yep. on the day of judgment, for one of them to be on your right hand, yep. for the second one to be on the left. Yep. Jesus said, you don't know, I'll be what you had to me for. Yep. How heavy it is. Yep. He said, can you drink from the cup of water that I'm drinking from? They said, yeah, we can do it. Jesus said, I knew you can do it. Yep. Can you baptize from the water that I baptized from? Yep. They said they can do it. Jesus said, I knew you can do it. Yes. But the decision of that day for someone to be there, it's only those God choose yes. will be there. Not yes. me, Jesus, I can't choose. Yes. It is only those God okay. choose that yes. will be there. Why yes. did you say that? Okay. Now, this is Jesus in the incarnate state on earth is Show me where I said I am incarnate. Show me where I said I am incarnate. Because we read again in the Gospel of John chapter 8, verse 28 and 29. You know what? When you have written out the Son of Man, you will know that I am okay. He. That I do nothing of the my own self, as the Father has taught me. But we've just he talked about sent... that. Explain that. No, no, no. no, no. That's no, no. another one. He who sent me is with me. I, Jesus, always do what pleases him. All okay, the time. but it's effectively the same explanation. To him it's the time. same explanation. This is the incarnate Son, who is not off no, on a frolic of his own. He is basically I'm part of the collectivity no, of the no, Trinity. Yeah. Where did Jesus say, okay, I'll come, come. I will come to this. Yeah, I want to but say the that. verses you quoted just now yes, 20, just 20. confirm the collective operation of the Holy Trinity. Wait, the one doesn't operate on its own, they operate collectively. That is, Jesus does not which do one? his own will. Which one? Which one? You just quoted a verse. Which one? Just now, you quoted to me Matthew verses. Um, no, that, no, after that, just this very moment, you were quoting verses from scripture to me. Yes. About how Jesus 
doesn't do does um, does what his father wants basically. Exactly. That is because in the Trinity you have a collectivity of action no in the and a collectivity of will. Okay. Ah, but you see in in our theology this explains this. Theology. Now the question then is in the Bible I said already in Philippians chapter two, <laughs> Jesus it says that Jesus being in the form of God Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be held on to. But he emptied himself. In that self-emptying, he limits himself. And that is why you have statements such as, it is for the Father to decide who will sit at his right hand. What do you see here? A pistol written by Paul. A pistol, a pistol letter written by Paul. It's a letter of Paul. Indeed. But when Jesus said in the Gospel of John chapter 40, verse 28, John 40, 28, Jesus said God is greater than high. Okay. God is greater than her. Okay. They're not equal. They're not equal. John hey, chapter 6, verse 38. Okay. Okay. I came down from heaven okay. not to do my whole will, yeah. but okay. to submit to the will of him that and, sent and, and, me. And the John 11, 3, he said, the head of Christ is what? God. The head of Christ is God. Okay. Yeah. John 14, 28. John 14, 28. If what the head of say? Christ is God, why the equality? Huh? A pistol of Paul written, letter written by Paul. Paul has never met Jesus in the history. Huh? And I can tell you, I can, yeah. you, you told me, yeah. 1428, what did yeah. you say? Okay. 40, no, so, what did you say? Yeah, I've got it. That's his. The Father is greater than I. That's right, you're not equal. Yeah, hold on, hold on. You, you're missing it again. <laughs> again. Okay, every well, verse, okay. every time. Okay. Listen carefully. When Jesus, as St. Paul says, yeah. being in the form of God, mm. did not hold on to equality with God, but emptied himself, he then is in a position where the Father is greater than him. This is the very nature of the Pauline statement.